Hey, it's Silver Dollar and J.G. Wentworth. What? Sweet. <laughs> All right, so we're here doing a uh, duo on the layer of Jaconis. Uh, we went with both, uh, or I guess both bow classes. So I'm on a Huntress, and J.G.'s on his Archer. So this yeah. is our first time... Yeah, this is our first time trying this. I was doing a little bit earlier with Lazy Lobo, and it didn't go that well, but that'll be <laughs> some good footage for another video. So, Rick Lobo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't. No, it's a spoiler. Uh, so, well, yeah, what do you think about it, about the, um, the duo? Once you've learned how how the dragons work and how it, how it like responds to you, it's not as bad as you would think, for sure. You know these dragons hit a little harder than I was ready for at first, but yeah, I think there's a minions. there's a lot of stuff that'll maybe knock you down to to around half health. But there's, I mean, the stuff that shotguns you, you shotguns you, it's like pretty obvious. So that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, really, really slow moving shots, really big. It's you know, it's not too bad. I even was thinking earlier that you know the armor breaks in this dungeon aren't particularly bad. I mean, you get armor broken, you just kind of back away for a second, and they're gone. Yeah, so. you don't get, like, surrounded or anything, so... Or, usually, it's pretty easy. Yeah, and now we're finally... <laughs> finally at the After boss. the long intro, yeah. <laughs> the long boss here, this is Yeah, I think intense. black is probably the worst, but when you actually look at the times afterwards, I think, like, I mean, so the video is, what, 22 minutes, so the... You know, you divide that by five bosses, um, and it's really not too bad. And I think no. maybe the first boss takes a, like a minute or two longer, but that's about it. Yeah, this one definitely. <clears throat> I think just because he's, his shots are so... I mean, with the range it's nice, but his shots are so spread out and big, it's hard to really just get constant hits on him all the time. Unless uh, he kind of creeps at you. Yeah, that's why I think you definitely notice a difference if you do it with, like, I don't know, let's say one archer and a paladin. <laughs> then, yeah. you know, it's, it it's is really hard to... solo. Yeah, exactly. It's like soloing it. So, And we were doing, like, one person on the top uh, of the screen and one person on the bottom of the screen. Um, and that really, that seemed to help a lot, too, because it kind of push and pulls the boss a little bit. Yeah, keeps him keeps him in between our shots. So I think we're we're getting pretty consistent damage almost at all times. So yeah, what do you think was the hardest uh, of the four bosses, though? Um, I would say definitely. Well, for me, the red at first because I had never uh, done it the way we did it. You know, you'll see that where I kind of get a little scared at the beginning. But um, I mean, none of them were too bad. This isn't a terribly hard dungeon um you know because you're really only worried about one thing at a time as opposed to you know like shatters you have a thousand things and even like shaitan you have three or four of those little heads yeah um, like it's kind I of just lod is pretty predictable i guess in that way like yeah it it's is. only it's only four guys that you're fighting right here and there's not ever going to be any more than that so right same almost same thing every time yeah i think and now with like that big event they did the other day uh and the payout on all the keys i think there's going to be obviously a ton of these getting run i think we have i don't know we must have 50 uh, or more in the guild or something <laughs> right right i think people are sick of them actually already <laughs> yeah i mean they're they're long i, I mean if even with two people you know, even with more people, this black one takes a while, and then it's just like the red one takes a little bit. So, I mean, if you're pretty impatient, I can, I guess, I can see getting tired of them. I like them a lot. I really like this dungeon. Yeah, um, I think they're definitely one of the more more interesting ones for sure. And like, I mean, five bosses in one dungeon is pretty. They're beautiful. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> right, Peppy, we're, we're recording. <laughs> what about are you doing? That's, oh, that's little man. Mammal. <laughs> oh, you sounded like you sounded like Peppy. I'm gonna tell Peppy to lock it for you guys. Who? No, don't tell Peppy anything because he'll. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come. All right, we had a, a minor interruption. This is the problem with a massive team speak. Um, yeah, I don't. Where were we? God damn it, Lamammal! 
Uh, That's anyway. okay. This boss took the longest, um, but I think they're all about the. I mean, the. I guess the red is probably the hardest. I agree with you, but I think, and then the difficulty sort of doesn't change a whole lot on the other ones. Um, no, I I remember when I first heard like when the LOD would like first first came out, you know, a year ago or whatever. Um, hearing about the dragons giving abilities to each other, and I just thought like on the last dragon it would be just extremely difficult. I mean, you're basically fighting all dragons at once, but you know, it never really turned into that, I guess. Yeah, they ba- they balanced it out pretty pretty well, and I think like it, even if you have a big group, like we were saying before, like you can't you can't do it, you know, too too fast. Yeah, I've never seen this this dragon really take much longer than or m- much shorter than a couple minutes. Yeah, like we've steamrolled it, but I mean, even steamrolling, I don't think you can get under five minutes. Probably, I don't know. I, I think would, that's I would about say the so, fastest. Yeah. Hey, Ava. <laughs> What's going on? We're just recording audio for a video. <laughs> what are your comments on the LOD? Uh, pointless. And yeah. uh, what what don't you like about it? <laughs> well, the only reason to do dungeons is for the items, and if it's not the items aren't good, it's not worth doing the dungeon. They nerfed everything. It's not even like worth using. Some of the stuff is not even worth using. Killed on. But is it worth the items? Totally not. All right, so we just finished up uh, black there. I guess I only got a vit pot on that one. Do you get anything? Yeah, I got a vit from it as well. Yeah, so it's pretty uh, pretty stingy on the drops, but... <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Have you got any they, of the items yet? Yeah, I've got all three of the armors, uh, and that's it. Oh, nice. Just one of each? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. I've only got the robe, but so. yeah, you know, they're, just, I mean they're okay yeah. to have, I guess, but like, yeah, you know, they don't really do a whole lot. All right, so on uh, yeah, on red here, um, I guess what's different when you're doing with less people is at least we found that you got to run around, you can't stand still because you'll end up taking too much too much damage from the minions. Way too much. Yeah, yeah, but this like this this dragon scared me even when we had you know a priest and there was. A group of people. It was still kind of just uh, taking damage. You never want to just intentionally take damage. Yeah, it's a little nerve wracking um, just standing still, and you're kind of relying on other people a little bit yeah. to either tank for you or heal you. So, <laughs> but I think um, once you once you get comfortable moving around, it's really not it's not too bad at all. It's just that no. maybe your first circle around is a little bit hairy because you might run into like seven minions clumped up and. That's exactly what happened to me. My first circle was awful, and it was, I was scared and. <laughs> I was once, scared once you, and alone. Once you, <laughs> once you, hell. But once you find the, you know, it, I mean, it's pretty easy. The shots are pretty predictable. They're pretty easy to dodge. So, yeah, but once, I tell you what, though, the, the this, minions in aren't this too one, bad. No, they don't really hit for too much. But in this one, the sick and the bleeds will really do its toll on you. Oh, is that what was getting um, you? Yeah, I got sick there again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, if you get sick and then you're bleeding, you're... I mean, the, it's pretty much pre-pets, no vit. You know, you're not able to heal, and you're just losing health quickly. Yeah. I think I, I, I actually pay attention to my health a little bit more in this one than some of the other bosses, probably. Yeah, but. Absolutely. I, te- I guess I'm just yeah. I get I definitely get a little scared in here, in here too, <laughs> especially after the Lobo this... incident. Yeah, <laughs> I guess those big red shots were the ones you said to really watch out for. Yeah, I think they're 150 or, or something like that, and the like minions the are doing 55. Weak, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are more just an, annoying, I guess. But and they're is it it doesn't do the pet stasis though, right? So, Not. This one doesn't. I haven't seen it at yeah. all. So I think this one you just kind of have to run around, and these minions will get in your way. This part right here is awful. The rush. Yeah. <laughs> but no, even like with two people, he still only does the two rounds. So yeah, you, you're yeah, not. You don't really save thing. a whole lot of time with a large group. I mean, it's a little bit slower, but we 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 still cleared it reasonably quick, probably. Right, yeah, this one, 
Right. <laughs> uh, for um for the abilities, uh, like I was on Huntress, and Huntress is good because you can use the slow affects most of the bosses, or I think it affects all the bosses. So the mm -hmm. slow traps are kind of handy. Um, I'm I try and spam them as much as I can. Paralyze doesn't work on any of the bosses. Uh, yeah. But I guess were you using like your quiver still? Uh, I was using it for damage only, um, but only like with the quiver. I tried to save it until I could really get a good shot. I didn't want to just spam it and not have any uh, shots in there. Yeah, instead. and I, I heard like mixed reactions on whether the QOT works, but from my experience, it doesn't seem to work. So I haven't I haven't seen it in action, so I can't comment on yeah. that. Yeah. It only seemed to work on the little uh, towers in the final boss stage. Ooh, death pot. <laughs> there you go. What did you get? Do you I remember? Think, you, I think you get I got anything? a death as well. I think we like matched pots all the way through. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. But uh, the blue time. This one was pretty easy. Yeah, I like the trick you guys found on this one. This one was good. Yeah, so uh, for blue, it made this you, a thousand times easier. Yeah, like way easier. Even then, sometimes some group ones seem to take quite a while too. Mm -hmm. But I I did one with uh, you know like we had a guild one and I th we just couldn't out damage the heals. So yeah, so the trick but, is just like you kill all the minions uh, except for one minion. So that's what we're doing right here. We're we're kind of both separated, running around the map, killing. Um, the minions, but then we end up leaving one alive, and then we go to the other side of the ma other side of the map, so we don't accidentally kill them. Uh, yep. And then that seems to prevent, or it just reduces the healing greatly. So you, it doesn't really make a difference, it seems. Yeah, we're definitely out damaging any heals <clears throat> that the one minion is doing. Ooh, Dennis Al sent me a little little dot there. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Sweet, Dennis. Oh, I did Jagannoff leave. Oh, I missed that message in game. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I was around for the Dennis uh, event. Yeah, you missed that. That was an epic moment <laughs> in Night Owl history. But yeah, we'll, oh, do, yeah. we'll do it again <laughs> sometime. Yeah. Dennis is a good guy. So, um, Yeah, the boss here is pretty predictable. Like, like it's the same as, yeah, I mean, similar to the other ones where... You just kind of get used to his shot pattern, and even when he starts chasing, you can kind of just hide on one side of the the pillar and you know run around, and he's it's pretty safe. Uh, and we notice that he does the hook come out, and he actually runs a little faster than his shots a couple times. So you can kind of really just stand right in front of him and shoot him, but he'll always go back in. So he'll come out and go in. Yeah, there Either. seems to be like a little timer on it or something, and he always touches up. He has to go and touch up in the middle, so exactly, it doesn't make it too bad. And I, I always find, yeah, for me, like I always find when they're moving, yeah, and they kind of outpace their shots, they're always easier to easier to hit. Right. But oh yeah, this I think in here though, this is a, this is one of the ones where I actually take quite a bit of damage, but I just don't. I'm not paying attention to my health, and then I keep going oh. in. And then finally, I'm like, oh shoot, you know, I'm at like whatever, 400 or 200 or something. But oh, I think I yeah, I remember you were down to 300 or something when I looked. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably coming up. But I don't know why. I guess I don't know. I just I, yeah, I'm not like I get in the zone or something and I get distracted. Yeah. Yeah. See, this isn't bad at all. Like I said, yeah, I saw a little armor break over my head and I'm still just in there deep. So yeah, it's not a not a thing. And we, we, we got pretty lucky because the minion never seemed to get... He's, he's like creeping in there around the pylon, but <laughs> <laughs> he never seemed to get no. too uh, too close. Yeah, that right there, we had to run away from him a little bit. But Yeah, that's like we're more scared of the little minion than the uh, enormous <laughs> dragon's vomiting shots yeah, at us. exactly. <laughs> there we go, number three down. Oh, that was it. Not bad. Yeah, just I was, every time I was surprised at how quick... The, how quick they seem to go. Like, I guess if you just get constant damage on it with a Doombo, then, you know. It's, it, yeah, it's that one's a good one to constantly hit. The green one as well is a really good one to really just get. Ooh, know, I think you you got big loots. Big yeah. loots. I love how people are just dropping the T5s now, like nothing, you know. 
I get so yeah, pissed. Nobody, <laughs> nobody wants them. All right, what but, color's uh, next? <laughs> let's see. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's green. A green one. You always get to call it. <laughs> Shit. Or you uh, got the, I think you got the all three calls except for the green. Yeah, I'm a gre- got greedy, one. greedy caller. <laughs> have you been trolled in any of these yet? Like anyone coming in and calling them? No? No, because I always have it like copied and pasted. Like uh, black right away. Because that's the thing, you know, if, if you didn't know, it matters what order you do if you want the white, the ivory dragon. But only black yeah. first, though. The other order doesn't yeah. matter, right? Yeah. Everything that's. I think I, I, I didn't realize that the first time around, or like the first time I did a video on it. So I thought it was like it had to be a specific order. But as long as right. you do black first, you set the hardcore mode or whatever they they call it. So. <laughs> hard, hard mode, yeah. Yeah. Hardcore. Intense. Intense. This one... Uh, yeah, the pet stasis is, is, is real on this one. <laughs> yeah, I just permanently like pet stasis, <laughs> but because they don't do any damage, so it's almost more dangerous. If you're dodging the pet stasis shots, the the blue ones, you're probably gonna end up hitting, you know, like other bigger shots. So I tend to just eat yeah. them. But cir- <laughs> circling wasn't too bad on it. It just got tiring. That was all. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, you can kind of move back and forth. I think we found. The, the minions in this one to be the same type of or was that one where we like if we killed them all or no I think they kept coming back or I don't know we tried to test it but it didn't seem to do anything it didn't matter yeah. and I'm not sure what heals the, I don't know if he just heals himself or it's the minions I don't know mm. this is the one boss that uh, prevents soloing or as far as I know prevents soloing I tried soloing it um, with an archer and I I couldn't get him to activate into this running around phase because he just kept healing up. So, right, maybe, that's what we were yeah. afraid of there. And like maybe and I, I found out a I better to, player could, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I had to use all of my quiver shots as he did that like middle phase in order to push him out. Oh yeah, that's right. And I was trying to th- toss in all the the traps and stuff. Right. Now, I don't know if, because the Paralyze doesn't affect him, but I think it, I don't know if it still does um, the damage and just he doesn't get the Paralyze effect, but maybe he still gets damaged. That's what I use it for. I just, I use it for damage only. I know okay. it's not going to paralyze him, so. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I guess it's the same as Quiver then, like the trap, so. Yeah, just the damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. this was the different shot pattern, which was actually kind of easier, I thought, than the first one. Right, yeah. It's in the kind of the last, last phase before is like rage, I guess. Yeah, you don't have to move as much, so, and just pet stasis, which doesn't do any damage. So, <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. So this is it. And then, yeah, I guess we were pretty surprised that we weren't getting disconnected. Yeah, I had a bad streak there of getting disconnected, so that was I unfortunate. I a few times, with, like red, I think, and I was thinking, oh no. Yeah, rubber bands. That's what I think, but it was just my internet probably the, the first few times, so it doesn't Possibly. seem too bad. Like, we were in here for over 20 minutes, and it didn't seem to get any worse, which was good. Right. All right, big money, oh. big money, big money. <clears throat> no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> yeah. And yes. Dexpot, so good. Did you? Nice. Just you can make up whatever you got. <laughs> I got a, a two life and same bag. And a forgotten crown. <laughs> There's a very and very small percentage chance. This is no. this is the fun one. I really like this dragon. I like the way it's it's. I like the whole thing about it. Yeah, it's pretty really sweet. Good job on it. I remember the pl- when I first played it originally, um, it when it was in development or whatever. It, uh, yeah, it just wasn't wasn't too co- it wasn't too difficult, I guess. So they did a good job at sort of adding a lot more elements to it and like more stages and stuff. So right, and yeah, here we figured out if you kind of spread out or whatever, it seems to work out. Yeah, a cause little not bit better. All- yeah, because you're not hitting all the shots coming at you at once. You're kind of splitting them. Yeah, these shots do some serious damage, though. Jeez, these are the 128s. 
Mm. Yeah, I think these are the uh, variable damage shots. I mean, that's totally a theory, I guess. But I mean, no, you're me, right. Like, yeah, because they're bouncing around there. Amounts. It's like goes from eighty to one hundred and thirty, maybe, or yeah, at least that's what I've seen. Which is kind of scary when you don't know what. Uh, yeah, well, it's forcing you to dodge them, so you're not taking too much. Yeah, as I'm just eating them right there. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, this one's. These aren't too bad. If we had a quad, we I guess toss the quad on, and it it reduces our shots to three bullets, but doesn't make a huge difference. Um, okay. Yeah, definitely. And this is. Don't I have, think this is one of those things. Like if you f concentrate, you can dodge them. But <laughs> <laughs> as I say that, I take ten ten of the shots at once. <laughs> yeah, like I start getting a little lazy there. It's because, I mean, the shots aren't really doing a whole lot. I think those are all status effects more than they're, like, damage. Yeah, the damage isn't too bad. And, like, they move so slowly, so they seem so non-threatening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come here, come to me, little shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, I screwed this up here. I put a paralyzed down instead of a uh, oh, slow. Oh, slow, that's right. That's what it should have been. So I didn't mean to swap out traps there. So he so just I walks just... right through them, but it doesn't really make a big difference because he ends up running, chasing you around anyways. So Yeah, and I, th I think I was like, I've always been really afraid of this phase just because, I mean, there's so much to hurt you on the screen all at once. But it's it's actually not too bad, you know, if you kind of circle close so you're not tanking all those red shots. Yeah, and there's a few, definitely a few holes in the middle there that, or, you know, you don't get any shots. Oh, that was like such Man. a bad idea. Oh my god, it makes you cringe. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, those ones you definitely <laughs> don't do not do that. <laughs> I think the rest of it, I'm I'm a little bit better. I stay away from the corners. <laughs> right. That was a good oh, run. Oh jeez. Yeah, that was. Oh, there again. I just. It's like when he shock <laughs> shoots right at you, and like you feel like you have nowhere to go. Okay, that was quick though. Yeah. Again, that was pretty easy. You just gotta. Get around those shots. Yeah, and I mean we're on art like bow class, so it's kind of squishy. So it's not not too bad. Two decks, one Boom. bag. On this oh one. yeah, yeah, you got two <laughs> decks. It's so weird. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck on your layer of draconuses. S L V R. Cash now. Oh shit! Wait. I don't think I recorded any of that.